Hey guys, Scott Reekers here with Eastman's Hunting Journals, and today I'm here to do a review of the Seek Outside Guardian, and it's a two-person tent with a liner and a stove jack. This is one of Seek Outside's new lightweight options, and it is a fantastic option for two people who want a stove, who want to be able to keep warm, and have a liner. And so one of the first things that you'll notice right out of the box is that it comes with two poles instead of one. Seek Outside is known for their teepee style tents. Well, now we're looking at this tent and it is not a teepee style per se. It's um, going to have more of that standard tent look that where it lays out, you've got two long walls, so wind will be a consideration where you pitch this. You wanna make sure you're not gonna get slab sided, that's a big deal. But make sure that you look at this and you understand that, huh, this is, you could make this pretty tall, but you can adjust right here get a little shorter depending on your circumstances. I'm intentionally going to pitch it right here on a little bit of uneven ground because let's be honest, whoever has an actual 100% level spot to pitch your tent. So next up, you will notice that this comes in two different bags. So this is your outer shell, this is your nest. Now you can set these up separately where you just bring this along and you've got a single wall shelter. It's even got the stove jack so you can use that there. But if you bring this along for places that have a lot of bugs, for places that have a lot of moisture, I would highly recommend it. This particular trip that I have been on where I've gotten hammered by rain for the last two days even though it's sunny down here, I would definitely encourage you to bring this nest along. That is one of the battles that we fought because I'm actually comparing this right now side by side to the Seek Outside Cimarron that we had along. I've used the Cimarron for years. It's my go-to shelter. However, the one weakness is that it's a single wall and so you can get some condensation. This nest right here alone will take care of those condensation issues for you. Seek Outside is known for their pyramid style shelters. However, this is not a pyramid style shelter. This is going to look a little bit more like a standard tent. You're not gonna see all the zipper options that you see on other tents. However, on this tent, you will see that it looks a little bit more like a standard shelter. Now, I'm gonna go, go one step further here. I'm gonna look at this and show you what I mean. Here is the tent pole that you use for the Seek Outside Guardian. However, there's not one, but there are actually two of these, one on each end, and then you've got vestibules on each end. So this is, a, this is a great shelter when you've got gear for two people on both sides. It's a great option when you're going lightweight. And so you can also adjust your pull height um, to get what you want out of this. This is a modular system. So one of the things that, that, you, that will be required is take a little bit of time, spend some time prepping and setting it up. Set it up in your yard a few times so you can get the pitches right how you want to. The flatter you can get it, the closer you're gonna be able to get all your lines to the ground. Now, one thing to always remember is that you can adjust and get closer on one side, lowering your, lowering your pole. And that's one way of doing it. Another way is you pull out your lines and you get it closer, but we're in some hot, or we're humid, muggy weather. I wouldn't say hot. We're in the 40 degrees here. It's been raining for two days. So one thing you will notice is that the, the material is very soft. So when you pitch it in dry weather, it's gonna be real tight. It's not gonna have any lines in it. And then all of a sudden you'll come back after you get some condensation inside of it and it'll be loose like this. But you, you fix that by guying it out all the way. So you can use these little loops up here, guy it out, run it over to a tree. That works real good. You can also guy it out down in places like this tighten it up. Sometimes you have to adjust your bottom though when you guy it out like that, you'll get it loose. Just some things to consider. One thing to also remember is that we have over here this string system. And so the beauty of the string system is that it is lighter than a zipper. So that cuts down on the weight of this shelter when you say compare it to a traditional um, double vestibule tent. Now the next piece that comes, comes in mind with that is I got rained on for the last two days. It's miserable. And so one of the things that happens over time is your zippers wear. The more you use a zipper up, down, up, down, up, down, well, the problem that you eventually end up is that that creates little tiny gaps in the zipper and wear points. Those wear points turn into leaks in wet weather. So the best thing that you can do when, that, when you have that happen if you don't like that, if you don't like your zippers leaking inside your single wall tent, well, this string system may be the answer for you. And so this comes up right here. You can open this up. But one thing to note when you, when you look at this is you pull this up 
And guess what? You now have ventilation all the way through. So I could highly recommend this during the summer, like those August scouting trips. That's gonna be when I really uh, take this shelter and like get to know it, really spend some time with it. But the other part, for the first time in years, I've had issues with a bug when I went on a scouting trip in August. I had ants, didn't know the ant hole was there. Ant hole actually ended up inside my tent. It was really nice. Having this liner would have prevented that ant situation. Now, if you also come here, there were some grasshoppers. They kind of liked me in that August trip. That was kind of annoying. They were not my friends. But you can see you've got two sets of zippers here. So you can go from either direction. So there's plenty of space inside for two people. Now, I would recommend that um, if you're going to bring a lot of gear, like on this trip with llamas that I've got, if you're going to bring a lot of gear, you're going to probably want to bring some extra space, some extra covering, because like, I had, I had probably more gear than would have fit in here. So just for comparison's sake, we could fit it all inside the Cimarron. However, this would have been a little bit tighter. Um, and that was mostly because of headspace and headspace and then the dead space that's out on the edges. So you're gonna have a little less dead space when you compare this, say to a Cimarron. However, when I review something, I wanna give good comparables. So this is going to be a great shelter. Also in wet weather because of the, because you've got the liner inside, you're not going to get dripped on nearly as much. Um, the condensation that happens with a single uh, wall shelter is not going to be nearly the issue. Now, again, you can guy out right here, get it a little bit tighter, but then you have to adjust your pitch on bottom. One of the things with these type of shelters is always adjusting your pitch till you get it just right. You may have to actually take a day, day and a half to do that sometimes when you're in the high country because every single time you pitch a tent, it's 100% different. So that's something to bear in mind. But again, you can guy it out. You can also, if you have trees around, you can also skip the entire pole and you can pitch it using just these loops. Now it's a little bit tougher to do. It's a little bit more challenging, but it is possible to do. So if that's something that you wanna be an uber ounce counter and don't wanna use the lightweight carbon fiber poles, I would encourage you to do that. So there you go. There are guy out loops all over this. So you can guy out wherever you would like. Plenty of airflow. You can also put in the stove. So we've got the stove jack over there. I will make sure that we post on social media, uh, us using this later with the stove jack in some later, uh, later season situations. So be watching for that. Thanks for coming along on this review of the Seek Outside Guardian two-person shelter. And remember to subscribe to the Eastman's Hunting Journal YouTube channel.